There we go. Voting is in progress. Okay, here we go. Hi, everybody. Guess what? It's uh, Monday. It's a time for our little Monday get together. Not a ton of people waiting here today, but uh, I don't know why. But uh, we'll uh, we'll 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 do it. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Where are we? Uh, okay. Let me invite. Uh, let me admit all. There we go. I have every time I do this, I have to learn how to do it again. Hi. Hello. Hello to Marjorie Miller. How you doing, Marjorie? Hey, sweetie. Happy birthday. I, I yes, thank you very much. Uh, first time you said that to me today. Um, Charlene Solis, hello there. How are you? <clears throat> Fine. Happy birthday. Thank you very much, Charlene. Uh, uh, the, the Brian Neary. Hi, Alex. Happy birthday. Okay, I can hardly <laughs> wait to hear it from this guy, ladies and gentlemen, Edward Berger. That's right. Happy birthday. Uh, <laughs> Turn up your mic a little bit. You're a little on the low side. If you can do it, if you can't, no big deal. Okay, okay. We just want that beautiful dulcet tones that you have. Right, right. You know, we have a guy who we call the voice of Gabnet, who is like <laughs> uh, our our announcer for the for the network, and uh, he's very good. His name is Steve Fox. But gosh, I'm beginning to think I should be using you. That's right. Yeah, just try saying. Gabnet, talk like you've never heard it before. Gabnet, Gabnet, talk like you've never heard it before. Talk like you've never heard it before. <laughs> okay. like never heard it. I have no listeners <laughs> now. It'll get, it'll get even worse. I have no listeners now. It'll get, it'll get also, worse. also been joined by... by also, Andrew, also been joined by... Oh, by this audio is up. By Andrew Deutsch. This audio is up. By Andrew Deutsch. Is that you, Andrew? It's got that you, Andrew. It's got really. Was that really? you? Was that you? Wait a minute. Somebody's got a business <laughs> audio. Wait a minute. Oh, it's maybe oh, you. It's maybe you. Uh, is it me? Is it me? Mandy's thing is lighting up. Hold on a second. Is is it you, Mandy? She, she's got you? her oh, you doing. Oh. Bad Mandy, bad. Go ahead, Brian. Say bad <laughs> Mandy, and it'll make you feel good. No, no, no. <laughs> anyway, oh, and hey, guess who's here? Don Giller. Yay! If it weren't for you, Don, if it weren't for you, Don, can you hear me? Okay. What? Yeah. If you <laughs> if, if if it weren't for you, Marjorie would have no life right now <laughs> because she'd been watching nothing but one Letterman compilation after another this is this is in your honor what is that i don't know <laughs> no it's it's a big oh it's, it's, a big oh. it's, a new oh. it's my audio bad what why it's is my, my audio bad your no. audio is okay you're good now i figure out where i'm in the car where the audio is coming where the audio is coming from Somebody well, I've, I've got it. I've got it running through the car. Oh, you! Oh, you! Oh, you got to mute oh. on your phone. Oh. So maybe if you, so maybe if you, unless you have something, to you say. Have something to say. Right, I'll put it on mute. I just wanted to go. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Yeah. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Is it right? Happy, <laughs> happy, happy birthday, Alex! Now. But, is it your birthday? Is it your birthday? You know let, me tell you, let me tell you something about having a birthday. <laughs> And being on Facebook, okay? Right now, how many Facebook messages have I gotten today on my birthday? I've gotten, uh, oh, so my friend Stephen Pearl sent one. That was an, but they have these, um, uh, oh yeah, 196. I got to redo this here. Hold on a second. Let's see how many we have today. It matches your age. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take off your shoes you can count that high okay enough of those jokes uh, karen babb wrote me okay yeah, that's fine 256 birthday greetings Thanks, man. because everybody to... loves you luckily can you, can you reply to some of those people and tell them you know get on the show like stephen pearl get him back on well i'll get i can get him back on i just hey, never... hey alex can i tell you why it matters what can i tell you why it matters 
Why? I wish you a happy birthday and my friend Sergio in Argentina to get a message back from someone in Argentina to tell me that he passed away. So we're glad you're here. Oh, that's, is that, oh, that's a happy, happy birthday. birthday greeting. Is there an Alex Bennett who passed away? No, a Sergio Vada, but I didn't know that my buddy passed away two months ago. No one told me. So oh, I see. I had I got great joy in wishing you a happy birthday and was and sad I'm still not a, and I'm not at room temperature. We're glad. Hi, Paula. Hello. I'm glad you're here. Happy birthday, whether you like it or not. Yeah. Hello, yeah. Len. Hello, Charlie. What does your shirt say? If you can read this, you are too. <laughs> it's nerd. That's binary for geek. For geek? <laughs> Boy, he has the best shirts. Hi, Paula. How you doing, birthday boy? Hey, yeah, you weren't here last uh, week because... I know, well, I was a little busy. I had cataract surgery. Oh, wow. Was yeah. it as simple as I said it was going to be? Yeah, the surgery itself takes 10 minutes. The aftercare yep. is a raw pain in the butt. And uh, I'm, I'm very glad to be in this week rather than last week. What do you mean it's a royal pain in the butt? You got to put the drops in your eyes. Yeah. And, you wear it like and you can't, you know, yeah. yeah um, and you have to be careful not to lift anything. Or, I, I don't know. It made me neurotic. Don't poke yeah. yourself in the eye, yeah. Don't, don't poke yourself in the eye. Sure. No, but and, and anyways, it, it, it's all done. They sent you uh, home with a cup on your eye, right? Plastic. Oh, that was a mess. Yeah. yeah. You have to sleep. And, and you have to wear night. that overnight. And I kind of felt like the dog who they don't want him to scratch himself, so they put this <laughs> collar on them. Yeah. It's kind of the exactly. same thing. You know? Which eye? Um, it was my left eye and my right eye. They're doing a uh, January third. Right. Yeah. yeah. And, they, and you're they, taking around twelve hundred drops. What'd you say? You're, you're taking around 1,200 drops. 1,200 drops, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have to learn how to do that real fast. Yeah, it, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that one doesn't have a new lens in it, you know. And it doesn't have eyelashes. You know, actually, the lens they put in is, the, is better than the one God gave you. Yeah. It really is. Well, yeah. But, okay. I'm beginning to think... We believe in God, or people believe in God. I don't, you know, I don't know. It's, the verdict's out with me, you know. I mean, I'm not completely saying he doesn't exist because if when I die, I face him, I don't Just want in to case. die. Because <laughs> I, 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 I don't want him to be mad at me. Right. Yeah, I got, Alex yeah. is just in case. Just, just in, in case. case. So <laughs> I don't, well, I didn't exactly say that. Okay. <laughs> what I said was, and he said, I don't care. That's what you said. I'm God. Shut up. You know. So are you noticing, seeing your left eye now has the new lens and the right eye doesn't, do you do an A-B test to see how what the difference is? I, I do. Um, uh, everybody said that that, you, that there's a difference in um, in color, and I do see that. It's not, it's not, yeah. all, that it's not all that dramatic, but it's, it's certainly there. Mainly, I, mainly I had to do it because my driver's license is up for a, a renewal, and I I figured that I better get it fixed and not be disallowed to drive at night. Did you have a little dot in the middle of your eye, fuzziness in the middle of your eye, or whatever? No, um, it's it's like a fog. It, it's gone now, but right afterwards, it's kind of like, like fog. foggy. Yeah. 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 Did you when after the surgery and after the patch was you took the patch off? Uh, no, you don't. You don't. They don't. Uh, they don't send you home with a patch. You only have to wear the patch at night when you sleep, and it's to protect the uh, okay. uh, the, uh, the eye. I mean, yeah, they used just, to. They used to, but they don't anymore. Apparently, yeah, they put it on me before I left. Yeah, oh, really? Here. But, but what I noticed is is uh, I I had I had both eyes same same as you with with a, like a six weeks delay in 2019, and uh, yeah. what what I noticed. And yeah, we I did take the patch off. Uh, I I had the patch when I came in, and I took it off like an hour later. And and your your eye is is not in sync with the other eye, and it, and it takes a while for the muscles yeah. to sync it. What I noticed with when the second eye was done, and I mentioned this to Alex, uh, uh, some uh, what twenty years ago, I think. Um, what? But when when the second eye was done. And again, 
you're you're out of sync and and it eventually closes in so you're back in sync but there's this moment and it happened like at midnight that night uh the second eye um where you're you were out of focus for just a, a, a you were like a millimeter away where you saw blank objects in 3D. That did not happen to me. No, me either. No, it it it, it may after on you have your second, second eye. On your second. It may happen when after your second eye uh, uh, surgery. Really? Okay. Yeah. So so I'd be looking at this, and it's 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 in 3D. You know, I could I could move around, and it would move around with me, and and then wow, and then soon after. You know, it it came into absolute sync. So the three D is like looking at. The Are you master. sure you aren't mixing up getting cataract surgery with just simply going to IMAX? Well, <laughs> it also could have been the acid. It know. sounds like an acid. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. I was going to ask if he paid extra for that. Yeah, yeah. no, pa uh, Palmer no. was wearing the patch. Anyway, was it? I, it was a great moment. I loved that moment. So uh, I hope you have the same. Does okay. wearing the patch reduce your desire to smoke cigars? Who are you talking to? <laughs> you you're talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> you're using the patch. That's what it's for, isn't it? Tobacco? Well, it's it's simple. Wrong it's patch? It's no big deal. Uh, and, uh, the old sometimes patch, a cigar is just a cigar, you know. Oh, okay. As you reach a certain age, <laughs> you, you get it. How many here have had cataract surgery? See? See? It's, an, it's an old people thing. It, it, <laughs> it is. It is. You know, when did you have yours, Marjorie? I had it at least 13, 15 years ago. Yeah, really? you had it before me, yeah. right? Yeah, you had it before. As the doctor used to say, they're not ripe yet. <clears throat> yeah, that's the term. Right. They, it's not ripe yet, like your eyes. Ripe ripe. Yet, but when it was ripe, I did it. Yeah, yeah. Did one, then the other. Well, you're kind of getting along in years, aren't you, uh, uh, Mike Chisholm? Uh, I just, I, I'm 47 and I just uh, came through a physical and all of my levels are looking pretty good. What do you mean? Pretty good. What do you well, mean levels? well, I, everything is fine. There's no concerns whatsoever. I was hoping, and I'll, I'll, I'll say this uh, because I know we'll all keep it in between all of us uh, that I, I was hoping my testosterone would be a little bit of low. So they would, you know, give me some sort of a booster, but unfortunately, no, that's right. Right. Where it's supposed to be. So. No, yeah, everything's that's, good. That's, yeah, that's testosterone TMI. Testosterone is, by the way, it's actually pronounced testosterone, and it's an Italian. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a pasta dish. What yeah. I miss most about New York, going to, uh, going to having some authentic testosterone. It was amazing. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> uh, well, my, uh, what are my testosterone levels? I, mean, I don't think they check mine anymore. Well, please Low. share them. <laughs> what what'd you say? Please Low. share them. Oh boy! So anyway, how have you been? Uh, let's see here. I, I, we will, we will talk to Mandy for a second. Hello, Mandy. How are you? Where are you? In the car, Alex. <laughs> uh, Where am I? Where are we? Uh, just north of Macon. Just north of Macon, Georgia. Oh, okay. And oh, we're here. We're here. Oh, we have. Huh? Oh, we have. We do. We have a the double, Alex. Double, Alex. Oh, uh, who's who's that? Uh, who's, who's that? Oh, the plot thickens. Ooh, the plot yeah, thickens. Yeah. Who's that? <laughs> uh, you're, you're not allowed to be with any men without our approval. I thought we talked about this. He's dead, you know. And what's his name? And what's his name? And what's his name? His name is Henri. <laughs> right here's the litmus <laughs> test right here. Do you know? Do you know Henri's sign? Do you know? Stop a second. Stop a second. Stop a second. <laughs> Who is that? It's Henri. Henri. Oh, she's losing yeah, signal Henry. now. How convenient. Oh, she's losing <laughs> signal now. <laughs> what part of Canada is he from? <laughs> what part of Canada is he from? <laughs> Wait a minute. He's driving. Uh, Wait a minute. He's driving. He's driving. Uh huh. Did you We're pick him up on the cruise from, ship or what? Uh, Florida. Did you pick him up on the cruise ship? And where is I he? Did. Where is he driving you to? Where is he? Where is he driving you to? My house. Oh, okay. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Just give me your. Oh. 
He's my friend. I went on a cruise with him. And what does he do for? What does he do for? <laughs> and where does he live? Where does he live? Social security number. I'll message each and every one of you privately for, for Clarence. For Clarence. And you Here's the litmus test. Litmus test. Yeah, don't don't do it, Mike. Don't, don't do you it. Thought you thought calling us would be a good idea with a friend in the car? With a friend in the car. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well. Okay, turn your uh, speaker okay, turn off. Your, uh, speaker off. Mute yourself. Oh, mute yourself. Oh, I'm getting. I'm okay, getting, sorry. That's okay. That's okay. Henri hey. wanted to hear the conversation too, so I'm yeah, I would have my AirPods. Yeah. yeah, well, we got some questions yeah, well, for, him too, questions for him too. There, <laughs> <laughs> he's going to watch while driving. Hey, Alex. Yes. I uh, I can't stay. I'm actually at the hospital with my mom. She fell and broke her hip. So oh, I, no. I just uh, oh, yeah, 96 years old, man. I'm <laughs> telling you, she is uh, she's a fighter, but it's going to be a tough road. So uh, let, I, yeah, tell her. Uh, I, you know, that's that's something, you know. I just wanted to make sure that I saw you guys every week and that I wish you a happy birthday in person. Well, we um, I will talk to you next week, I hope. Wish your mother the best. Please. Yeah, appreciate Absolutely. that. And you, and you also. Thank you. Talk to you. You guys have a good one. Talk good. to you soon. Take good care, Len. Best to your mom. Thank you. Anyway, uh, that's, that's, you know, I'm, I'm waiting for the hip to be broken. Yeah. I, you I, know, I know I, I hurt my leg, you know, when I fell. Yeah. Right on. A couple yeah, of I'm going out. I'm going to fire. <laughs> what? Len, 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 not off. Off his phone. Yeah. Len, you're not off yet. Len. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to figure out how to make this fucking thing turn off. It's the red button. <laughs> yeah, we, can, we, can hear you, we can hear you pee. I'll put you in the waiting room here and you can figure it out there. Okay. All right. He <laughs> didn't, didn't jiggle the handle. <laughs> That's what I like about these people. We're so tech savvy. You know? Yeah. We know what we're doing at all times. Also, I think we fit the description of a motley crew. I'm pretty sure we fit that description perfectly. Motley, yeah. Mm -hmm. Motley crew? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. By the way, next week is uh, Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. Day. Everybody want to? I'm going to. Shall I do a show? Yeah. No. Yes. No. <laughs> we all vote Marjorie. <laughs> yes. Because I should do a show, raise your hand. I'll pop on if I can. I'll bring the granddaughter. It'll be okay, great. Yeah. Okay, good. Marjorie, okay. you don't want to come next week. No, I'd like to take a day off. You can't. <laughs> oh, I'm. I might be going to a uh, Jewish Christmas, which, of course, you know, is uh, Chinese food and a movie. I'm not sure. The Chinese. You don't. You don't know that, Alex. Yes, that's a Jewish New Year. That's a Jewish Christmas. You go to a Chinese Chinese movie? food that's and a movie. movie. A or movie? the reverse, a movie and Chinese it's food. This movie where they ended up at the Chinese restaurant. Yeah, fa ra 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 ra. They can cancel <laughs> now. He got his tongue stuck to the racist tree. movie. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, you know, I mean, it was, it, we got to do something on Christmas. I well, feel, all the other restaurants are closed. The Chinese restaurants are open. How many Jews do we have here? I, I know Mandy's Jewish. <laughs> this is a dangerous question these days, you know. Yeah. Yeah. By, by Don's not putting his hand up. No, I did. Oh, okay. It's spirit. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> only by heritage. Oh, only by heritage? Yeah. Well, that counts, you know. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Who the hell? Okay. <laughs> well, what do you what are you all doing for Christmas? I mean, uh, we have nothing to do. We'll watch movies. Come, Come over here, here. Chinese well, movies. That's all I was planning. We're gonna circumcise a reindeer. Ew. <laughs> uh, it it it's um. I always feel left out on Christmas. As a Jew, I always felt left out. Is everybody, what are you doing for Christmas? Oh, I'm getting Christmas gifts or so and so, and blah, blah, blah. And I'm going, you know, we don't do anything. Alex, yeah. you were an only child. You got everything. Yeah. And you had seven days of time. parents did give me Christmas gifts. You got everything all the time. Well, yes, I suppose if I had a, <laughs> a brother like, or a there sister. There you go. <laughs> a brother or a sister, they would then you have to. Spoiled rotten. What? You were spoiled rotten. 
How do you know I was spoiled rotten? <laughs> we all know. That's a leading question, know. Marjorie. How, how do you know? <laughs> that we, was all know. Were, were, you were you there? Were you there? We all know. No, you know I, the results. My parents doted on me because I was the only child, and so they didn't have to spread their affection over, you know, a brood, you know. Anything to say to that? Or Did everyone could... notice this haircut? Let's see here. Were you the youngest one in your brood? Me, I was. Huh? I was oh, the too. baby. You so were the was baby. I. Oh well, that's just as much bad as a uh, as as a single kid growing up. You get all the. No, we got nothing. They yeah. spent it all on the on the two oldest. <laughs> <laughs> You, you, Marjorie, you, uh, that way, uh, I, so I always thought the the youngest one got got doted on, you know. Well, you were the youngest. Oh, wait, you wait a minute, wait a minute. Mandy is going no. You're saying no, Mandy. Yeah, yeah. Usually, well, Liz, in my situation, my brother and sister were very close in age. They just did everything together, and I was I was always like trying to tag along, and I was always told to get lost. You know, yeah. get lost. You're too you're too young. Yeah. How, well, how many yeah, brothers, how, how many, many brothers, uh, kids? How many, are you just an older brother, older sister. Oh, really? So three. Of you. Really? So three. Of you. Yeah. Wow. Well, but they're like close well. in age. They're like a year and a half apart, and I was like, you know, later on. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 And but, Charlie, where were you I, in the Maybe family? I did get away with oh, more. I was, you know, who knows? I was the youngest of three. Three. My brother and sister My brother were and two sister. a year apart, and I was three years. Younger than my old, my brother, who is you know the middle child. child. Yeah. So yeah, I guess your parents are all worn out by the time a third kid comes along. <laughs> they got no energy for you. Really? Okay. How about you, uh, 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 Paula? What uh, youngest, oldest? I, I, I would no. I was the I was the younger of two girls, and I was also the youngest in my extended family. I was youngest of all the cousins. Oh, really? and I can't. Yeah, it, uh, so I can't get. It's, it's hard getting used to the idea that that there are a lot of people now, a lot of people now that are younger than me. <laughs> I of myself as the youngest. <laughs> well, they do say that birth order is very important. It's almost predictable uh, how the kids are going to turn out. Uh, Adon, how many kids in your family? Uh, <clears throat> I have an older sister. Uh, then there was a miscarriage, and then there was me. Do we count the miscarriage? Uh, I think if if there were no miscarriage, they probably wouldn't have been to me. So you were the you were the youngest child. <laughs> yeah, that, that I know of anyway. They say yeah. birth order is important. <laughs> I heard that Hitler was the youngest child. So, well, there's a correlation. <laughs> nobody, ever, nobody ever talks about that. I wonder what in in birth. How, was he the oldest? Was he the youngest? Let's look him up. I think he had a brother. Yeah, I, I think he had a brother. Think he had a brother. Uh, yeah. How about you, Brian? Yeah. Youngest, oldest? Only child. But my father had like five or six kids. But my, my mom, I'm the only child. And they got divorced when I was three. So I'm the only child. Oh, so he went on to have all those other kids. Yeah. Really? He had a couple before me and a couple after me. So I guess you were doted upon, right? You and I are both uh, single children. You know, youngest, yeah, only children? No, because my mom passed away when I was 13. So anything that I got, it got ripped away from me in life. Oh. Wait, so what uh. did you do when, you, when you were 13, now uh. you don't have a father because he's absent. Correct. So she had just got remarried, so he adopted me, but then he took off and was with his, his girlfriend. So, so yeah, I, explains, I raised myself. This explains much. Alone. Yeah. <laughs> really? Hitler was the fourth of six children. He was the fourth of six? Yeah. Oh, my God. So explain that. Yeah. Wow. Fourth, he was the fourth of six? Born, born to his dad and, and his dad's third wife. Probably completely ignored. I mean. <laughs> Talk about right there stuck in the middle. Yeah. 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 Well, anyway. Uh, 
God, I, I, uh, today's, uh, today's my birthday, I guess. Huh? I'm oh, 80, is it today? I'm 84. <laughs> and, uh, I'm, I, it, that bothers me for some reason. Um, uh, wait till you're 85. Yeah, why? <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people don't get to 84. A lot of people don't get to 84. So no, many I'm, people don't get to 84. I'm, 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 listen, I'm, 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 I'
but uh, apparently President Biden has to weigh in on it somehow. And if he doesn't weigh in on it on time, they're being proactive right now by pulling them right now. But they're hoping that there would be a resolution so they don't have to. Well, I mean, why don't they just stop that feature for the time being? Why I think it's a piece watch? of technology inside the watches since 2020. Yeah. You, so, you mean President Obama. There you go. <laughs> yeah. I was telling I'm Canadian. Mar I'm not, I'm Canadian. I'm not sure how that all works. I'm, I was telling Marjorie, this is a blow to Apple because um, I, I don't know where in the pantheon of their products it is, but I know that the uh, iPhone is, of course, number one. But I think the watch is becoming number two. I mean, also yeah. at Christmas time. Yeah, right at Christmas. Right. They're just pulling it off the market. Pulling it off the market. I got mine for Christmas. Charlene wants to say Charlene something. She's got her hand up. She's got her hand no, up. I'm just, you know, you know me. No, you know me. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, do I have to stand the one I have on my arm back? back? No, 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 it's like uh, stuff is coming back. Yeah. Double. Anyway, go ahead, uh, Charlene. Oh, sorry. I was going to say, you know me. I'm thinking, do I have to send back the one I have on my wrist? Or like going forward, we're not going to have, you know. Oh, yeah, uh, going uh, forward. They're, they're not, oh, okay. <laughs> That's what I thought. They halted but... sales on them until they can get this thing set. Oh, okay. You have to replace your wrist. Well, how many people <laughs> do you have? A Giller? Do you have an oh, Apple Watch? Nah. Really? I thought you did. Oh, okay. I, I, I don't see a need for I one. know that Mandy has an Apple Watch. <clears throat> well, if Mandy has one, I'll get one. Uh, uh, you probably have one, Mike, right? Uh, no, I have a ponytail holder because I'm a big old hippie. <laughs> but I did give my uh, I did give my wife one for Christmas last year. Why haven't you? I have it? Alex's old one. She always gets my hand-me-downs, but I told her I'm thinking about buying her one of these once they go back on the market. Because the uh, Ultra is really incredible. You know, it's like it's like a, a a real upgrade from the other ones. So, what do you use it for? for oh, I look to see what time it is. When he goes deep <laughs> sea diving. When he goes deep <laughs> sea diving. <laughs> when I go deep sea diving, that I use yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. No, but I I use it like when I walk. I find out how far I've walked. You know, all the watches do that, and, and as well as uh, iPhone. There, there's an yeah. app that can do uh, that. Also, I'm constantly Odometer. getting breaking news on here, which I always pay attention to. I get if you write, if you write me a uh, uh, what do you call it? Text. Text comes through on here. I can set it to have everything come through on here, but then it would start annoying me. Like Marjorie's got this thing called Citizen. I love it. Don't ever get this thing. It's become so paranoid about our neighborhood because what Citizen does is tell you anytime there's some kind of an incident near where you live. <laughs> all the time. Then, then it's on all the time then. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, you better not go to the bank and take out money because somebody could beat you over the head when you're leaving. <laughs> I'm going, Marjorie... You just stop looking at citizens. <laughs> it's true, though. It's it's like it's 200 are, feet for, from you, a man was just stabbed. For, <laughs> for, a ring, for a ring thing, a ring ring the front door, it's, it's connected to all the neighbors, and all you see are cats and dogs that are missing or they found them. Yeah. <laughs> Not a dog. What is that, citizen? No, it's the ring. ring. Ring, you know, the ring on your, yeah. your door, the house. The I have the ring thing. Yeah. yeah right. it's, just the, the, it's just full of cats and dogs that were found or lost. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, nothing fun around here, I guess. Here, I guess. So you have a ring Real on quick. your You have a ring on your bell is a ring, right? Oh, it's got it's a, a camera. Right? It's got a camera. And what you Real can quick, do. I'll, what you can do. All Henry sees is raccoons and deer. I mean, Henri. Henri. What is, Henri, yes. What is, tell him we'll be the judge tell of him that. We'll be the judge of that. <laughs> but I, I have an Apple Watch, but it's really good because when I'm in meetings and people are texting me, I can look down at the watch and not the phone and be disruptive in the meeting. 
So it well, looks like I, I'm paying I, attention. Yeah, you're right. That the the phone, you have to kind of hold it up and look at it. And... Yeah, and then I can look down and it shows me my calendar so I can see my next meeting if I need to bolt from that one. So it's it's very helpful for work. Well, it used to be that if everybody if people looked at their watch all the time, that you would assume that that they didn't want to be there. You know, like you know, it's just like what when's this meeting going to be over? Yeah, but I do like really sly, like you know, I sort of uh, crack my neck a little bit and glance down, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Well, I just uh, I just look at mine uh, whenever it goes off. Occasionally, when it says breaking news, I want to see what the breaking news is. That's why I knew about Apple today. Well. My grandson uh, had to get uh, um, a watch because of uh, one of those uh, an Apple Watch because they made a rule in his school uh, that that um, uh, there were too many fights going on. Kids kids finding out that, um, that there was a fight with their cell phones, so they collected all the cell phones and uh, put them in the locker. So you know, like uh, my daughter in law said, "Well, how am I going to be in touch with him if I need to be?" So she yeah. bought him a watch. Okay, but I just, I just, I love this thing. It just, it's just terrific. Alex, what one do you have? The Ulta, Ultra, Ultra, yeah, the Ultra. Oh wow! Ultra. What does it look like again? I wish I would have waited. I got the nine, but the regular. It's nice, right? Yeah. It's bigger. Bigger. Yeah. Here, I, I can't. I can't get this. Oh, I, I see. <laughs> yeah. I see. Here you are. What do you yeah, expect? Oh, wow, that's huge. Old. You could have, yeah, you could have <laughs> done that when you're 83. <laughs> now, right now, but now, now it's too late. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bigger watch by about four millimeters. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, I like it because I'm, yeah, my eyesight isn't what it once was. And it did me. Yeah, I should have gotten a big one. I need that too. Yeah. But uh, Marjorie's has my last watch. And I, I put this on her the other day. I thought it would, she's got a very small wrist. And I thought that it would not look good on her. It would be too wide for her wrist. No, it was just fine. Yeah, I'll take it. You know, oh yeah. So, well. If it's being offered. If you get some money, you'll get, a, you'll get one, okay? <laughs> oh, boy. So anyway, and this did anyone notice Alex's haircut? I noticed yeah. it immediately. Yep. Thank you. I thought, oh, birthday boy got a haircut. Yes, which he did. hair? Ah. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's uh, wonderful, isn't it? Oh yeah, I see now. Yeah, it is perfect for December twenty first for winter. That's perfect. Yeah, <laughs> for winter. Did did Len leave? Yeah, Len. Because yeah, I wondered what was happening in Cleveland right now in Akron. It's uh, we we got pretty oh, much no, our Andrew. first snowstorm. That's Andrew. Andrew. That's Andrew. Andrew. Andrew, Andrew, Andrew yeah. But he, he left also. Something and then yeah. Yeah, it looks they, like he's gone. Wow. Uh, right, California Andrew. finally got some rain. We got our first rain today. Oh, did we get a rain last night? Oh, last night we got. Oh my God! Rain. And the wind, Alex, and the wind. Yeah, it woke me up. It was hitting the window so hard. Woke me up too. Are, are you do, are you due for snow? It'll never. It's too warm down here for snow. You know, when I lived in New York back in the you know when I was a child, <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I mean, do you remember Paul and the big snow? I remember. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. When, I a, oh. when I first moved to New York. <laughs> Uh, it it's snowed like every it snowed every winter like a big giant snowstorms, and in the last what five six years, I don't think we've had a major snowstorm. Thank God we haven't had a major snowstorm, Alex, in years. My favorite story about snowstorms was that I was working. This is when I was in Klamath Falls, Oregon, working at a radio station, a uh, small little radio station. On my way up. Okay. On your way out? And what we'd do is we would, we did the news, it was called Rip and Read. What would happen is you'd go to the teletype while the records were playing and you'd rip off some news. And then you had to do a short little newscast. And there was a thing called News at a Glance, is what you grabbed because it was just the, the major stories. 
And then you would go on the air and start reading it. And because I had very little time between the time I ripped it off the teletype and sat down to read it on the air, I had no time to read the actual news. So I just read it as it was written there. And I come across this story about a large snowstorm that has hit Cleveland, someplace like that. <laughs> someplace. And But I read it as it was on the page, and somebody had done a misprint. And I said, a giant snot storm <laughs> hit Cleveland. No, you didn't. <laughs> and then I started to laugh. <laughs> I mean, it was... You know, giant snot storm, and I remember that to this day. Somebody didn't do, they didn't correct the typographical errors. So, anyway, that's my story about snowstorms. That really happened. What? They said you did that. Yes. (laughs) Yes. You're a regular Ron Burgundy. Yeah. Uh, Ron Burgundy will read anything. Well. I'm there gonna, he is. Andrew's back. I'm going to tell you the worst thing, worst uh, screw up I ever made. The Supremes, this was in Houston, Texas, and the Supremes were supposed to be on my, I had a little TV show. Hmm. And they were supposed to be on my TV show, and they never showed up. <laughs> and I got on the air the following Monday or whatever, and I said, you know, the Supremes were supposed to be on our show, and they never showed up. They were reneggers on a promise. <laughs> oh, no, you <laughs> Oh, Alex. And I went, well, <laughs> I just screwed there, up. There are the there goes my magic, career. Because I said this on a radio station in Houston, Texas, and that word was very common. So, you know, but... Uh, there- there was a, a local news guy named Roger Grimsley on WABC. Yeah. And and he said that when he retired, uh, he was asked what was his what was his most embarrassing moment on the air. He said it was it was the time I mispronounced count. Mispronounced what? Count. What? <laughs> well, figure it out. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> see you next Tuesday, they say. It's a see you next Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I thought he was going to say the day that he said that. I know women hate that word. And I finally, years ago, figured out why they hate that word. Because when a guy says it to to you, you're going to like want to come back at it, right? And there's no retort to that. There is no word describing a male that is as disgusting as that word. So women can't top it, and that's why they don't like it. If you could top it, if you came up with a term you could use to top it for a guy. And it's true because a guy is explaining it. (laughs) (laughs) Well, what do you know, Brian? Where where are you now, Brian? You're at home. I'm going to get my my little monster. Your your little monster? Oh, you mean Adrian? Yeah. Yeah, got to pick her up. You yeah, pick- I leave to get mine in 10 minutes, too. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I'm... okay. So, uh, and when does she get out of school? 2.03. 2.03. So it's... Um, 20 minutes. Yeah, one forty-five now, right? Yeah, but they got to get good parking. You say good parking at the elementary school. That's it. It's the hottest thing. Yeah, he's in California. Well, 2.03, why... 203. Why not 205? Yeah. <laughs> all, right. all of their things are weird. They, she starts at 807 in the morning. <laughs> uh, I have an idea. Sounds like union negotiations to me. <laughs> How far away is the school? It's about five minutes. It's really close. Yeah. She hasn't gotten to the point yet where when you take do you take her to school? Yes. She hasn't gotten to the point when you take her to school that she says, leave me off a block away because she doesn't want to be associated. <laughs> Not in that car. No, she wants oh. me to pick her up in, in the fancy cars. The exactly. other two, the other two are embarrassed. They don't want me to if I if I get mad at them and they needed a ride when they were younger, I'd pick them up in the fancy car and they'd get really mad. Because <laughs> they get all the attention. They don't want any attention. Yeah. 
Yeah. Wow. Uh, well, Marjorie and I have never had any kids, so we haven't gone through that situation. And when I see somebody as charming as Adrian, although I imagine she can be a pain in the ass, uh, I, uh, you know, I, I miss not having had a child. But then when I see everybody else's children on the bus or whatever, I go, thank God I, I never had a kid, you know? Where did Marjorie go? Oh, she sure had a kid. Went off to have a kid. <laughs> anyway, uh, so uh, anybody seen anything good on TV or in the movies? I saw your Leave the World Behind this weekend. That was a good movie. <clears throat> I saw that too. Yeah. Leave the World Behind with Julia Roberts. And yeah, I saw it. I liked it. Marjorie yeah. wasn't as crazy about it. Oh, I, I saw it. I liked can, it. Can you guys answer me a question? I've got people, uh, well, not who I'm really associated with, but I've seen people locally who are like, that movie is propaganda and it's all these sorts. Of, is that movie controversial in any way? No, I didn't. Oh, think okay. So. All right. Well, the, I don't know what you, Alex thinks. Okay. I'll tell you what. Not something, you mentioned the movie. I saw it. I can't remember what it was about. <laughs> it was sort of like a movie about nothing, I thought, too. Yeah, yeah but it was like good. I liked it. An invasion. <laughs> yeah. They well, were trying to. weird behavior going on in that movie. Well, you know, well, well, we're watching because somebody here recommended it last week was Murder at the End of the World. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very good. I love it. I didn't like it as I much. Can't as wait for the new one tonight. The worst, the worst thing I've seen in years is this thing obliterated on Netflix. Mm. It's like just stupid. I I got oh. through about fifteen minutes and won't watch the rest of it. It's uh, every every excuse for making a bad movie is in it. Our TV wait, show. Uh, Brian's going to pick us up any minute now. Is that the <laughs> basketball movie? No, it's it's oh. the. People like a, a elite force of it's a sort of a comedy half naked fighting thing. They're an elite force for the NSA to get rid of a nuke in Las Vegas from bad people. But it's okay. it's just bad. <laughs> you know that movie that movie you were mentioning with Julia Roberts. What what's it called again? I leave can't remember either. Behind. But it's leave the world behind. That happens to me, Alex. I can never remember the name of that movie, but it's Leave the World Behind. It has a, a nebulous title to it. That's why. Yeah. But anyway, uh, you know who, who produced that? Oh, I know. The Obamas did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. They were one of the producers, but yeah. they, they were listed first. So Right. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't anything political or about being black or anything like that. Like, yeah. You, what was and it? It had one degree Rustin, of Kevin Bacon. Bacon. Rustin. Yeah. <laughs> what, one, Charlie's making jokes. One degree of Kevin Bacon. Bacon's in it. So, yeah. But it, uh, uh, you saw Rustin, right, Marjorie? Yeah, that was good. I saw Rustin. I, I, I thought that was really good. I still want to watch it. It looks like it's very good. Was it good, Marjorie? I can't hear you. She's muted. You're muted. Unmute. I thought we saw it together. No. Okay. No, it's one of the things you you watched without me, without asking if I wanted to see it. I'm sorry. You should be. <laughs> so when I watch it, you're going to have to watch it again with me. We'll see. <laughs> okay. Yes, Charlene. I just noticed that there's a new movie coming to uh, Netflix before I called you. And it's about Leonard Bernstein. Called Lenny. And it's, yeah. No, no. Oh, well, but it's a, that guy, I can't remember. He was in A Star is Born with uh, Lady Gaga. Bradley what Cooper. Actress? Yeah, he's going to be. Cooper, yeah. mm -hmm. I've seen clips and I think he does an amazing. Uh, he directed you know? it. Well, so far, all I oh, know okay. is that the makeup looks like him. And he directed he it. Well, you know, and that when that when they're pushing how the makeup looks good on him, now he yeah. looks just like it, Leonard Bernstein. I go, maybe it's not a very good movie. Right, right. It's more about the, the, the movie was good. They're just saying the makeup was great. 
you know. They right. gave him, they gave him a Jewish nose, is what they did. And, <laughs> and, and they uh, uh, and uh, there was some some controversy about it, but uh, uh-huh. his his family uh, um, said that they thought that they did a really good job. That they, I mean, Bradley Cooper mm-hmm. does not look like what Lenny Bernstein. Yeah, looked. yeah, so, he doesn't. You know, well, this it, work, it works. Can make anybody look like anybody else if you put good makeup on them. Yep. Yeah. You know? If you want to see, something. you know what I'm tired of? I'm tired of all these actors who make movies doing impressions of people. Because they always wind up winning the Academy Award for doing it. <laughs> yeah. There's there's a video on YouTube. This I, I'm going to mispronounce her name. Z-I-W-E. Interviewing George Santos. If you haven't watched it, you have to. It's called George Santos Answers Hard-Hitting Questions. Yeah. <laughs> it's, she's, she's, she's brilliant. She nails the guy with it in, in a funny way. How can you nail cannot... somebody that slithery? Oh, yes. it's it's brilliant. It, is he, he, the is guy he aware? The guy can't define what empathy is. He doesn't know the definition of empathy. It's, what a shock! It's, <laughs> it, find it on YouTube. It's called yeah, George Santos enters, uh, answers hard hitting questions. It's really really good. Wow! Is, is he aware that that she's skewing him? Yes. Oh. Yes. Only I don't want to ruin it for you to watch it, but it gets worse and worse. She gets harder hitting. With the questions as it goes along to the end to the point that you just can't believe he didn't get up and leave mm-hmm. and what's it what's her name what's what's it z-i-w-e Z- i've seen her Z-I-W-E. once being interviewed on the daily show and i don't want to yeah. mispronounce it and make a fool of myself but uh z-i-w-e is, is was it name. on the daily show no no this is her own youtube page that's z-i-w-e up here in canada Z-I-W-E. yeah zed thank Uh-oh. you very much <laughs> Don't forget also Thanksgiving is coming up when? Next week? October. October. We can't wait. We're excited about it. We're already prepping. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, hey, could, I couldn't hear you uh, with that donut in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, have you did you watch uh, Chris Rock Kevin Hart, the 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 new film on Netflix? No. Yeah, okay. I I can't wait to watch that one. I'm excited for that one. Really? Well, yeah, it was good. Cuz I like Chris Rock and Kevin Hart. You know, uh, together wow oh god bobby slayton is calling here's his phone (laughs) (laughs) that that's why i heard it ringing that's his ringtone that's the bobby slayton ringtone called me twice already must be important no he's just wishing you happy birthday that's all well that's important right yeah 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 uh, uh, Bobby Slayton, for those of you who don't know who he is, is a comic. Mm-hmm. Not just Snoop, like Snoopy. Probably the best stand up comic I've ever encountered. You know, really? wow, that's saying something. Really? Yeah. He's well, number one on your list? Well, he's really funny. About Chris Rock is I've never been a big fan of Chris Rock as a comedian, but he has turned oh. into a great actor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah, so it doesn't matter what I think about him as 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 a comedian, but um, just an absolutely great actor. Yeah, and and a good punching bag, I might add. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I've dug Chris Rock ever since the Chris. I liked him on SNL, which was fine, but uh, when the Chris Rock show came out, at that point, there, mm-hmm. I'm like, yep, yeah, I dig you, man. He's cool. That was the funny show. Yeah. That, that thing was that that show was more of both of them and how their careers blossomed. There wasn't really much stand up in it, but it was, it was still really good. That's the kind of stuff I love. What was that? What show yeah. was that? What'd you say? It's the yeah, Netflix it's movie. Yeah. What 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 what, 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 who, what's the show? It's Chris Rock and who else? Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. Yeah. Yeah. Because they both they both played at Madison Square Garden while their tours were happening. And so they just show the, a bunch of stuff of them coming up as a comic and stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is is that what the show is about? No. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. He said another show. Well, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was about his uh, childhood, the one that... Uh... I was going to say that you're, you're yeah, getting, it's getting very dark where you are, Charlene. And oh, the, sorry. He's in New Jersey. I know. It's very dark in New Jersey. Window, they turn the sun off and there early. I'm out my window right now. So. Mm-hmm. No, they just, New Jersey didn't pay its light bill. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm trying to put my indoor lights on in here. <laughs> Is that better a little? <laughs> I gotta ask. I gotta ask Mandy something. Mandy, how long does it take for you to drive home? Drive home. Um, from from Port Canaveral, what about eight hours? Eight hours. Where were you? Were you you were in where? Where? Port Canaveral, which is near Orlando. Okay, so that was Cape uh -oh. Canaveral. Like Cocoa Beach. Yeah. Cape Canaveral. Yeah. For all the cruise ships leave, the right? Ships leave, right? Right. Yeah. 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 Rocket yeah. ships go off. Rocket ships go off. What? And the rocket ships go off. Rocket ships go off. Yes. Yeah. Major Nelson and uh, I dream of Jeannie and I dream of Cocoa Beach. Beach. Exactly. Yes. I hear double. I hear double. Well, that's because yeah, I heard that too. That's because she's listening to her car speaker, which is a little bit off. Bit off. And I just want to say, when you were telling the story about the Supremes, my friend Henri got a big kick out of that story. Oh, okay. like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Those were the days when those were the days when you something you like that and you didn't hear anything about it. You know, uh, I mean, uh, but uh, me because because that word it was a word I hated. But I suddenly, after I said it, I realized what people would think. I was, I was proper to say it. They reneged on a promise. Okay, but I probably should have said renegger. <laughs> you shouldn't have said, no, you should not have said that. No, no. Renegger? How about went back no! on a promise? No, you went, went back on a promise? Not a hard I, but a soft E. Negger. Can't you just say they went back on their promise? It's like, yeah. yeah. Can't you just say that? Well, I was trying to be literate about it. Yeah, but you almost got your butt beat. So I, it, yeah. it was not one of my best moments. Let me put it that way. So I can't talk today for some reason. I think I had a stroke in my sleep last. Wow. <laughs> oh, Christ. Well, you know, 84 years if you have I bet I bet I've had a mini stroke at some point. Well, stop it, Alex. <laughs> How do you know if you've had a mini stroke? <laughs> Tell people stories about what happened to you in Houston, Texas, when you mispronounce something with the dreams. I guess that's check your eye watch. Huh? Check your watch. I <laughs> watch. Yeah. So anyway, are you having a good birthday, Alex? What? what? I woke up. <laughs> that's good. That's very you good. Woke up. That's a good birthday. A good I got birthday. it. It's a good birthday. Yeah, I woke wake up. Up. No, that's, that's, that's like a that's like a George Carlin then watch. We then watched uh, um um what's his name uh, last the last week. John uh, Oliver. John Oliver. Yeah. Then we watched the Gilded Age. Okay. Uh and uh that was it. Exciting, huh? Nobody's finished the crown yet. Yeah, we finished it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I knew how it ended, but I didn't want to tell Marjorie. You know. <laughs> Actually, I thought they did a very good job of ending. They didn't end it with her dying. Mm -hmm. She died two episodes ago, Alex. What? <laughs> well, she died, she died at the two episodes <laughs> ago. Who? Diane. No, I'm talking about the queen. <laughs> the queen. He said the crown. The crown is what is now going now Gary Haber is calling. Gary's calling. Oh boy, what's he calling about? It's your birthday. Well, yeah. I know it's Gary. My she says to me it's Gary Haber when his name is Haber. That's very helpful. Boy, this has been oh, I know what it is. He's calling me on my birthday too, because he, he he's saying happy birthday to me. Thanks, Gary. Hold on a second. I'm answering it. Must we? Oh well, he's he's. Wait a minute. He's gone. Okay, I'll call him back. I got I got to call all these people back. They all they all decided to call me during this show. It's so not what it is. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know. Uh, I've been. I'm. Marjorie's taking me out to dinner tonight. Yes, I am. Some Italian restaurant. I never heard. Yes. Of. What? I didn't say anything. Thank Order you. Restaurant. 
whatever it is. Order, order the pan testosterone. pizza. Yes, testosterone. Oh. Nice job. Bring it full circle. Ex oh, excellent. That was awesome. Perfect. The thing you got sick on last time, the tuna, tuna tartare. Don't get that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Is that from that place? Remember the tuna tartare? Is calling me again. Better, I'll call him back after. Let's all say goodbye, and then you can yeah, call. Yeah, we'll all say goodbye. Bye. Happy birthday, Enjoy. Alex. Enjoy your dinner. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Goodbye to Marjorie Miller. Bye. And bye, goodbye. Bye, bye. To... bye Marjorie. Bye. bye. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. She has to get dressed to go out. Oh, that was really great. So Thank long. you. Peace and love, Mandy O'Brien. Goodbye, Mandy. And Don Giller. Hey, Happy always, birthday. Always, always, Happy birthday to you too. Happy we always a pleasure watching your stuff, Don Giller, on uh, on YouTube. I should I should uh, I'd like to put in a plug. Uh, Mike is there, there's this four part narrative <clears throat> that and Mike is going to uh, upload uh, part four tomorrow morning. Oh, okay. So, for episode one hundred of the Letterman Podcast. Thank you again, Don, for that compilation and those. How hundreds of hours of work you've put in. Thank you so yeah, much. It, it came out better than I uh, thought. I, it was I great. Checks in the mail. Checks in the mail. Yeah, no, yeah I, 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 I haven't seen Canadian. anything. I haven't seen a dime. He's doubling your salary on this one. Yeah. Uh, Paula, <laughs> thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Uh, Charlie Wallace, wonderful. Uh, oh my God, it's so worth it. Uh, Charlene, thanks for calling. Appreciate it. Andrew Deutsch, always swell. Happy birthday. Do you have any? Oh, there we go. Oh, there, there we go. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's could, reverse snowing. Wait a minute. I could do something. Hold on a second. It's it's my it's birthday. It's actual snow in here. And so I can do this. Wait a minute. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, confetti. I like that. Congratulations. That was great. <laughs> my 84th birthday. Enjoy yourself. Yay. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. Only eighty-four. Could be. Enjoy, happy. Alex. Whatever you're doing. Yeah. yeah. Oh God, <laughs> laser. <laughs> uh, so long. Bye. Oh, good. Bye, 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 Bye. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Thank you, Brian. Oh. And finally, to sign us all off, ladies and okay. gentlemen, here's okay. Edward Berger to say. Okay. That's all, oh. folks. Bye-bye, everybody. See you next week. Bye-bye, <laughs> Adrian.